各位观众，晚上好。我们今天要玩《仙剑奇侠传四》，or as we know it in English, The Legend of Sword and Fairy Four, and not、uh, Shadow Hearts. Anyway, let's go ahead and start here with the. Oh, it says the red, the the girl in red clothing. It says I'm also level three, so hopefully the game loads. Sorry about the delay. I actually had a bit of difficulty getting the sound to work. It was keep. I kept changing the. <coughs> The speakers. Oh no. Oh game. You and your your keyboard issues. What's up, how illusion queen? Give me one sec. Hopefully the game figures out that I have using a keyboard now. Okay, good. Okay, Guayo. I'm gonna just bypass all these monsters if I can. I'll kill them otherwise. I should be at full health. I should be more than capable of handling them. Yeah, I know. There's always this keyboard issues. I don't know why either. Oh, that was a little weird. I don't know why it froze for a second. Bani, gan dia. No, I guess not. Anyway, this is a our usual stream. Ow! I know. I almost died to the frogs last time. I could have accidentally cost myself some progress. I'll just get rid of the frog. They're more of a pain. Surprisingly, even though the frogs die faster, they do hit harder. So. Okay. Anyway, same sound effect as before. Oh, we got Yun Tian He grew to level four. Anyway, we're gonna ignore these frogs, and they're gonna, probably gonna ignore me fairly soon. We can't grab that. Was there anything in here I could grab? Oh. Bao Xiang no. Ah yes, the blue. I it's cloth, blue clothing, and uh, what the heck? Why is it? I don't know why it's freezing every so often. Is that a blue stone? Oh, it is. Tian Qing Shi. Oh, it's like the blue stone. There might be equipment I can use just now because I just saw it. Yu Pei no. Thankfully, the game is now a list, so you can actually go through them. Unfortunately, I cannot equip these. These are not for me, unfortunately. I can equip one of these as accessories, but that's about it. Ah,、uh, Jubalo. I guess that's it. Oh, the father and son. Oh yeah, that is Tian Qing Shi. That is like the Celestite. So do let me know. My voice sounds a little funny, but this should. All right, this is where we wanted to do. You get to hear the voices. <coughs> 喂，快来看，这玉石好漂亮啊，像有光在里面流动一样。Hey, come on, hurry and get over here. This jade stone sure is is really pretty. It's like water is flowing through the water. Excuse me, it's like light is flowing through it. Oh really? But, 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 Uh, 大大的外行 That's probably me. Let's see. Oh, I see. So, if water doesn't flow, if water flows away, it's like it's a. It's also another superstition, but it's like symbolically saying that the chi, the life chi flows out. That's actually interesting. Interesting. Oh, I see. Yeah, that that why, huh? I was like, I was means they're not really like in <coughs> in this line of work. Excuse me, sorry about that. My voice is probably at like eighty-five to ninety percent. Anyway, but you know, from what it, 
from what I can see, the person that made this tomb probably wasn't someone who's normally in this line of, line of work. Outside the cave, there are river, <coughs> uh, there are rivers flowing and uh, and a waterfall as well. You know, normally it's a bad omen for f for water to flow in front of a to in front of a cave, as they say. If water flows away before a tomb and does not accumulate, the life chi will will leak out. <coughs> anyway, but what's stra the strange of all is all this ice. It's a lot like the ancient tomb in, B in the Bingchuan and the ice rivers. I saw in the ice rivers before. It's so... It's so... Uh, it's extremely solid. Let's see. Oh, it's too bad that... That I that when I went that when I went outside and made preparations, I didn't bring those treasures on me. Otherwise, I would be able to break this I <coughs> these ice um stands or let's see, ancient tomb in the glaciers. Yeah. Or I guess ice rivers are technically glacier. Okay, that, I guess that's true. I was using the literal term for the word for glacier is ice river, but don't worry about it. Sorry, I was being too literal. Uh, Bing Cheng. Otherwise, I'd be able to break. Uh, Bing Cheng is like the ice platforms. Uh, it's like, hmm. I'm trying to think if that's the right English word for this. I don't know if anyone else is gonna be here. I know someone. Some people are like, you're actually streaming today. I don't know. Layers of ice. Okay, it is lay. Okay, it's layers. It's like floors. I was like, is this ice floor, ice platform? No, layers of ice. Hi, Dex Monica. Otherwise, I'd definitely be able to break these layers of ice. <sighs> Inside this coffin, there must be some kind of, some kind of dark mechanism, Shinji. Hi, Dex Monica. Welcome to the stream. I'm just looking at what Xuan Qi means, and this won't take very long because I kind of know. I like, not dark mechanism, or it's a principle. LOL! Like, there's a great mist. There's gotta be something mis great mysterious on it. I've heard how much this game is like Dragon Ball, so I'll go on that tangent a lot. What? Okay. This is all right, this place, this place, could it be mother and father's tomb? Or father and mother's tomb, yeah, technically. Goku. What? Well... Oh, you know, I, I can't actually disagree with that too much. It's not quite, ex um, it actually might ma ma match up to our characters. <laughs> Oh, I see. Fall into my trap, wild monkey. I know, right? He's already. We've already joked that he's a monkey. It's so cold. It, within the cave, this is the, this place is the most is the coldest of all. Let's see. And they were able to melt. And for some reason, they were able to melt such thick ice. Or no, was able to gather together, not melt, sorry. I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. <sighs> no wonder it was, um... And it was able, they were able to gather such thick ice here, or like, uh, thick ice was, was, um, about formed here. Maybe that's the best way to say it in English. <sighs> Uh, right, just now, what did you just- what did you just say? Something about father and mother? Oh, he's about to say something. 
My father... My father said... It, after he died, he was to be buried together with my mother. Let's see. And he didn't want to be disturbed. And even for me, this is my... Even for me, this is my first time. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, explain yourself clearly. This place is your father and mother's tomb? I mean, his, I'm pretty sure his mother was dead by the time he was born. This is why he's never actually seen a woman. Hmm. So you're saying that inside this, <laughs> inside these coffins, are their corpses? Are their bones? I guess. It should be, unless there's, there are other tombs inside this mountain cave. Huh? Take a look! It looks like the... <laughs> it looks like there are words on the rear wall of the, of the mountain. It was carved by a sword. Oh, really? Wow, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> there are no Dragon Balls. Hi, Ozio Corvid. Welcome. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's some kind of poetry on here. I don't have time to mess with this, so. Tao San Zhu Jue Tai Di Chuan Han Gong. Um, oh, gee. Yeah. Bang Jin Pan Yu Chi Kuang Ran Sung Bai Gu Bu Nai Jian Su Yi Sui Han. Huh. I don't get what that means on its own, but it's like code words to me. <laughs> yeah, even he doesn't know either. So sorry, that basically says like, oh, uh, what does that mean? I'll go ahead and read the poem for, for you, the translation that Illusion prepared for me. The great waves and the mountain denied the ships of Emperor Qin. The Han Palace held the golden dish all night. Oh, more keep. The chat is moving it too fast. Jade skin has no purpose and becomes white bones. Why not have the sword whistle through the chilliness of Yi Shui instead? Uh, I don't know what that means. Of course, Qin. The first line is about I. I read it as Tai. My bad. I can't. Apparently, sometimes it's actually hard to read like characters done in certain fonts because I get confused by like. Because the the strokes are so dense, I can't tell what's inside. So it is Qing Shi Huang. Sorry, I misread that earlier. So yeah, the first line is about uh, Qing Shi Huang, the first emperor. Like in the West, you know him as Shi Huang Di, S H I H U A N G T I. If you probably had like some world history class, he was the first real emperor of China, who uni <coughs> excuse me, who was the first to unify the um, unified the country. Anyway, let me just see. He wanted to gain immortality by sending a fleet of ships to the immortal mortal mountain on the sea to obtain the medicine of immortality. But they failed because they were stopped by the storm and the giant waves. Why are they talking about Qin Shi Huang in this one? The second line is about the Emperor Wu, the seventh emperor of the Han Dynasty, which I'm actually very unfamiliar with. Sorry, guys. There's, I don't know all my imperial dynasties that well. So it's basically a record of all the emperors who tried to go after immortality. So he needed a great, a golden dish. So yeah, basically this seems to be a talking about emperors who failed to get immortality. In real, in reality, um, the last two lines means that no matter how beautiful your appearance is, it doesn't matter anyway since you end up being as being white bones in the end. So instead of wasting time doing things like seeking immortality, why not do something significant in your, your life so that your life won't go to waste? I mean, that makes sense. 
Oh yes, the one of the um, people that no took down the Qin Dynasty, uh, Jin Ke. <laughs> he attempted to assassinate Qin Shi Huang. Yep, it was a one-way assassination attempt. Oh yeah, there's plenty of Chinese quiz shows where they test you on your ability to handle um, Chinese dynasties. Sadly, I'm probably more familiar with anything from Ming Dynasty and beyond. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Basically, the very last two dynasties are I'm much I'm much more familiar with, mostly because, well, they happen to be the one that's the most modern, so they're like they're much more. The records of those are a bit more fresh. And also, don't ask me about Three Kingdom stuff. I don't know Jack Squat. I mean, we're basing off Dynasty Warriors, but even then, that's just kind of an exaggeration of what really happened. Anyway, enough about that. Our protagonist asks, Yun Tianhe asks, So, what's written... What? So, what's the meaning of what's written over there? So the first two sentences, it seems like they're talking about Qin Shi Huang and uh, and Han and Emperor Han Wu, who, who about their pursuit of immortality. Uh, the la as for the last two sentences, I don't understand either. This poem will have a bigger meaning as you play through it. You'd probably get to beat them mentally. <laughs> so anyway, interesting that they talk about those. So the other thing to mention about the Legend of Sword and Fairy, it sort of takes place in Chinese history, but like it's like an alternate universe version of China. It's kind of hard to explain. They don't really try to keep your historical times like really like dead on. They don't tell you straight up which period it is. So it's actually kind of interesting. I don't know yet. When do they hold hands? Oh, I'm sure that's going to happen at some point. Qin Shi Huang? Han Wu Di? Uh, Qin Shi Huang and Han Wu Di, or Han Wu, the Emperor Han Wu, who are those people? Uh... <laughs> Huh. Well, I couldn't tell that um, <coughs> the barbarian, on a mounted barbarian like you would still... Anyway, they're going to probably move on. We don't need to explain. You're... Could your mother and father be the legendary sword immortals? From the Sorry. Could be could they be the sword immortals from the legends? What's a sword immortal? The Emperor Wu of Wu of Han. Oh, Emperor Wu of Han. Not Han Wu, apparently. It's okay. I I, I we got it. Well, oh I see, because they put the kingdom's name in the front. Han Wu Di. Oh uh, Wu Di is like it's like Qian Long Di in uh for Qing. Anyway, when do we get the part where we get? Oh, never mind. Uh, well, can you can you think harder? Did your father really? Did your father really not say anything about anything about sword immortals or something like that? All my father did was teach me how to use a sword. And that way I wouldn't be, be bullied by anyone when I grew up. <sighs> I can... Your brute... Uh, from the looks of it, your brute strength makes you look like a barbarian. And you, and you even learned... Lord sort swordmanship. It's really lucky that you aren't bullying other people. <laughs> she's not. She's saying like, well, I don't think he has to worry about getting bullied. He has to, we just have to worry that he will start bullying other people instead. 
方才看你使剑，不像懂得以器御剑。真正的剑仙都可以御剑而飞，瞬息千里。寻常人一辈子也做不到这样的事。Oh, but you mean we can't do it even if we try to? Never mind. Sorry. Let me go ahead and say. Just now, when you used your sword, it didn't seem like you understand how to use your chi to um manipulate your sword or like to raise your sword, I guess. In a, a real sword immortal can use <coughs> can use his sword in, to fly and can go thousands of li. I can't call it miles because that's not right. I can go a thousand li in like a, in a second. Basically, it can fly really fast. We've already seen this in other previous games in the Legend of Sword and Fairy series. It's actually a very useful skill. You think surfing on a cloud is cool? Try surfing on a sword. Take that, Dragon Ball. Anyway. A normal person, even if they were to use their whole life, would in their whole life would never be able to do something like that. Uh, Yu Jian is like, I guess it's like raise. I don't know how to actually translate that. Normally, I use it for Yu Fang, but like that's a bit of a different word. I'm just making sure I'm not like completely like insane. I guess it's like you drive a sword. Yeah. I guess it's like driving it. I don't know. It's like manipulating it. It's kind of weird. Let's move on. Yeah, we'll just say manipulate. That's what I I was right. Using <coughs> using chi to manipulate your sword. This guy said. He said that's not easy to achieve. It's better to learn some strong weapons and kill some of the wild animals. At least he won't get hungry. Ha! Huh. Just a little, yeah. Oh well, father did talk about that. He did say that's an extremely difficult. To, that's extreme. Like getting to that level is extremely difficult. He said, "Why not just learn some, some strong, uh, strong sword techniques and kill?" Uh, let's see. How do I say this? Say this. Let me rearrange that into an English. He said it'd be more practical to learn some strong sword techniques to kill some wild pigs. That way, I wouldn't. Ha I wouldn't starve. 高人的行事当真古怪。He's like, oh, the, huh, the actions of, uh, the actions of experts sure are strange. <laughs> Basically, he's like, oh, that's just that. Well, that's kind of weird. Ah, 用膝盖想都知道，你肯定也不明白仙术是什么。不过资质倒是很好。我刚才念的那些咒法也是从一本古书上看来的，没修炼多久，要不是为了打那些福灵，才不会告诉你呢。哦，哦哦 ，Now we get to see Ling、uh, Ling Sha's smug face. This will, this will not be the only time, guys. Anyway, this is a bit of an expression. Like, even if you were used to knee your knees to think, I would have figured it out. Like, huh? Well, I fig. Well, I easily figured it out. Clearly, you don't understand any type of what immortal techniques are, but you have. But your potential, potential is that the best way to describe this? <coughs> Excuse me. I don't actually don't like this. Is a def this one is like potential? I'm like thinking, what do I want to do? Yeah, I guess like your aptitude is basically hi Angel Queen, Angel Queen. Wait, there is an angel. There is a song named Angel Queen by Kitaro, a famous Japanese musician. But sorry, hi Angel Girl. Oops, I read it too fast. Your names are blurring together now. Anyway, but your aptitude certainly is sub, is quite good. Let's see. Just now, all those. <coughs> All those incantations I was reciting came from an old book I had just read. I hadn't been able to practice it for really long. Oh, if it weren't for the fact that we had to beat those, those talisman spirits, I wouldn't have just told you. I wouldn't have just told you. 我又不想知道，听你那样念，我胡乱想一通，手脚都不受控制了。Yeah. Interesting. Well, that's y'all need the fuse now. Shaking my head. Oh no. No, no, not the dots. 
Well, I didn't really want to know. I was just... From listening to the way you were reciting it, all of a sudden I just stopped for... I just like thought randomly for a moment and then suddenly I couldn't control my arms and legs. <laughs> anyway, it was so shy when she said that incantation. It took hours to translate. Yeah, it's just. Don't worry. <sighs> you. <coughs> you silly. Uh, you, you idiot. Or like. Uh, yeah, I guess he's just like. <sighs> you silly. How. In this world, who doesn't dream of learning the five. Immortal techniques of the five spirits? Ah, and the way you just talked about it, you made it sound like it's some cheap technique or something. That's probably the best way to do it. Oh wait, hold on a second. I risk read that wrong. Um. Oh, okay. She's not saying that. So Trap's trying to suck up to me because I gave you... Anyway, yeah, it's like... From the way you talked about it, you don't have to suck up to me. <laughs> you don't have to be a suck up, basically. That's the easiest way to say it. Stop sucking up me just because I helped you. Oh. Oh. Shmo oh. You drunk sha. If you ting may don't the young. I just got back. The longer this year, the better chance of hypothermia is gonna send in. Yep. Actually I'm surprised she hasn't frozen to death at this point. What do you mean? Oh, are you trying to? Are you pretending to be st stupid? <coughs> oh, you, you just have this look of someone who doesn't understand what's going on. Uh, I don't really understand. Hey, well, I told you everything I know, so now it's your turn to talk about. About everything about the Sword Immortal, Mr. Sword Immortal, I guess, Chen Bei is like a respectful way to refer to Chen Xin. Chen Bei. Mr. Sword Immortal? The, the Sword Immortal, I guess. The sword immortal. Yeah, about your mother and father. Oh. Oh. I've never seen my mother before. From what I from what my father father told me, after I after she gave birth to me, not long after she she died. And that she was the greatest per like she was like the um, the kindest person in the world, I guess, is just the base like it actually means like the goodest, the best person. But that doesn't mean anything. In English, that's very confusing. But it just means like a knight, like some a good hearted. She was the most good hearted person in the world. There you go. Hmm. Na ni die zhen you fu qi. Hmm. Well, I guess your father cer certainly was fortunate then. Die jing chang ke zuo. Ke chu lai dou shi xie. So father was coughed all the time, and he even coughed up blood. The most goodest person. Ha 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 ha. Huh? She He was that that seriously ill? Or like his illness was that serious? Father was always inside the house. He would come out very rarely. He was afraid of cold. Uh, maybe, maybe I was mistaken. How could a sword immortal be be sick? Uh, about that, uh, maybe we should. <coughs> uh, you, we should leave. We should hurry and leave. Otherwise, father might get angry. <laughs> Oh, what you uh, Why are you using using or like how do I say this? Oh, uh, you don't have to call call me you. I do have a name. My name's Lingsha. 
or call me Ling Sha. Oh, Ling, Ling Sha. 